What is going on guys, David Productions 119 here. Sorry for a new video. Um, so I went to Play-Dohs and Savers today. I usually don't film because I don't find anything. <sighs> but today I found a couple things. Yellow Durag season. Uh, just real quick. I'll show you guys the fit of the day first. Thrasher shirt. Let me get a better angle. Thrasher shirt right here. And the kicks. The blazers. I love these. But let me show you guys what I got real quick. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys real quick. The first pickup is this Bulls hat. You guys already know what this vibes are with the Bulls hats. I have mad hats. Just take a quick picture for the thumbnail. Like but I have a Bulls hat. I'm gonna add this to the collection. What you guys what I haven't shown you guys yet is that with this, I have a, all my shoes lined up and my hats are all down here. So I have a heat section, I have a bowl section, which I'm just going to throw this right in front, but that's going to go right there. It was seven bucks basically, not that bad of a price. So I'm going to add that to the hat collection. Just a really dope hat, one stain right there, but not too bad. It's I like the stitching, it's like baseball vibes, so I'm going to put that there. I have too many Bulls hats, guys. So, again, look, look at the price. Seven bucks, basically. Pretty good deal. And then I got this Ford Mustang shirt. I'm not a Ford guy at all, but I just like old vintage car tees. Eight bucks. The only problem with this is that it's a little bit silky, so I don't know what material or, like, what, like, when I would wear this, because I don't know if it's going to shrink or not, but it's pretty cool. It has a Ford and a Mustang logo. You can pick it up on the camera. There we go. Ford Mustang. Pretty cool. I can match this with the Presto that I have. So that's the second piece. And the third piece, this vintage Camaro SS. This is a one size too big though. I wear XL and this was 2X. So hopefully this shrinks. Camaro SS. This is pretty dope. I saw this. I'm like, I need, I need to grab this because this is really cool. So that's that. Also real quickly, the blazers are really dope. I showed you guys these before. But they're really cool on feet. They're very comfortable. So yeah. Alrighty guys, that's the pickups for now. I did buy that pair I swear to you guys in the last video. Still chilling, waiting for my friend to buy those actually. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for right now. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, another light meetup. Sorry about the lighting. Selling the red fives. Turn this out real quick. Selling the red fives. For actually 125, I didn't even. I put some for 80. This dude offered me 125. Look what time it is. It's like 12:30, so it's bit. It's like basically 12:30. So yeah, it's another late late night meetup, and I'm gonna sell these and show you guys that. I hopefully he actually doesn't try to rob me. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit in the next scene, I guess. So I'm selling another late night shoe. See you guys in a bit. So I haven't really been updating you guys at all. And it's okay, because I haven't really been doing too much sneaker stuff. I only sold one pair. It was the Chinese New Year 12s. Sold those for 130 Yeah, I sold those for 130 Basically, like, $70 profit. Not that bad. Bought them for 60 But that's all I've been really doing so far. Not many people have been hitting me up to buy shoes. I'm kind of bummed about that. But anyways, today I'm going to be selling two pairs. She goes these two real quick. And I'm actually going to be selling these two. <laughs> like, the... First pair is you guys know these. I want to get rid of these so bad. I don't know why. I just do. These Kyries are very annoying, and I'm gonna just throw them some laces for my friend, just to, just cause I don't really want them, and I don't really care about the laces. So, yeah, or I might just keep. I might just keep these laces and throw them in like. Okay, I'll probably just keep these. But the Kyries, you guys don't know how much. Or how good I feel when I'm getting rid of these. I'm only getting like $10 profit from these. I don't really care. I don't really want these at all. Many people were telling me like just keep them as basketball shoes. Like nah. They're not really that great of a basketball shoe. Like to be honest. And they're kind of big. So. Like they're not bad. But I just don't really need these. So. Selling these ones for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I paid like 10 for them. What I could do is make profits, or I don't, I don't, I don't care. 
So that's that. Then the second pair is this pair right here, the Ying Yangs. I was looking at these and I'm like, these are not really my style. I mean, they're really dope. They're a pair of Jordan 1s, they're white. They can really match anything. But it's just something about shoes nowadays that like I don't want to just have random pairs in my collection that I'm not going to wear. And like, these are cool, but I really, really don't need these. And I'm going to be making like, I forgot how much I paid for these, but it was really low. So I'm going to be selling them for like 160 So both pairs for 180 which is not bad at all. Um, I think it's a good deal. Just because I don't really need these. Because I have like a bunch of other Jordan 1s that I will be wearing. And yeah, it's very simple. It's a white, it's a white shoe. Looks really clean. Only problem is with white shoes, they get so dirty. So I'm like... The only reason I kept these for a while was because I was thinking about keeping them. And then just today, I was just like, my friend just was like, do you want to, or he was asking me what pairs I had for sale. I'm like, you know what? I'll just tell him I have these because I don't really need these. So selling these definitely, like comparing that pair to a pair like this that I have over here. These, I would actually wear these more. And comparing that to another pair I have, over here in my rotation these I would wear these more as well so just looking at these couple Jordans over here in my little shoe organizer I definitely would rather wear those two than the ones I mean the ones are cool don't get me wrong but I just think personally that I wouldn't be wearing them as much which is okay so anyways that's it for now and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit also real quick I installed or I'm going to be installing a backup camera in my car, hopefully, if everything works out. And yeah, also look at my hair. It just got braided again. Let me show you guys real quick. It's two braids, but it's a little bit more clean than last time, which is cool. So anyways, that's it for now. Just the two pairs, selling them both for 180. Kind of happy about that. And let's go. So I'm smiling. It's very not rare. Um. So... A couple things happened. One, got a better camera. Let me show you guys real quick what I got. I'm not trying, to, I'm not even flexing, but I found 11 Pro Max in gold. I wanted the black, but gold's cool. Different color. 256 gigabytes. Um, I needed the new camera, and my old phone is kind of glitchy. So, I don't know. Here it is. As you guys can see, the new phone is nice. So the camera's a little bit better. And yeah, so that's the first thing. Got that yesterday, actually. Very funny story. Met this person in the same place where I kind of got scammed a couple years ago. So it's kind of like a realization, like, I got better. Like, I know how to meet people now. Sell shoes, buy shoes, whatever else. So anyways, that's the first thing today. I want to tell you guys that I got a new phone. It's activated. Second thing was that Play Doh's today. I don't know why, but I, I was. I got two or a pair of shoes and a couple of shirts for my dad for Father's Day coming up. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys the shoes real quick. And then I'll catch up with you guys after that. I don't know what else I have planned for today, but for now, I want to show you guys the shoes real quick. Okay, guys, so we're going to be using the wide angle lens, but anyways. Here's the shoes, Air Force One. I believe these are called the Worldwides. I'm just gonna call them Air Force One Worldwides. Very good condition, barely creased. Size 11. Only thing is that they got some weird, uh, some weird gunk on them. They're not gunk, but it's kind of slippery. It's it might be Rain-X, <laughs> like the shoe Rain-X from Repel Water. You guys can see the price. You see this wide lines paid 40 for that. Let me zoom in. Paid 40 for that. I like the lens because I can sw keep switching in and out. But paid 40 for bucks for these. It's cool on the tongue, it has the worldwide logo. Don't mind my nails. Um, so I'm probably gonna sell these to my one friend. He his brother wants these, so I'm probably gonna sell both. Um both for 80 like both each 80 this pair is cool i had this pair for a little bit 
Let's go back to white. But I just got this prayer today. So he destroyed those baby blue forces I had, the Afro Punks. So it's good to have these ones back. So I can sell these to him. He needs a new pair of forces. So yeah, I paid 40 for these. Also gonna sell these hopefully, maybe the same day. So that's 160. It, those remind me of these right here. So when I got these, these are size 10 and a half. I was thinking off-way vibes. Cause you guys know how like off-way kind of has like the uh the tag hanging from right there. So when I see these, I'm like, oh, these are sick. And they're my size, so if I don't end up selling them, I'll just keep them. They're new repair. They're in really good condition. So I, I, I overpaid a little bit for these ones. I paid like 65 for these ones, but it's okay. So I only bought those ones today. I had these. This is from my personal collection, and those are as well. But I want to show you guys these as well. Off-whites. <laughs> the... Off white inspired Air Forces. So, the reason I want to show you guys these is that, like, these are so sick. And this camera makes everything look so much better. But these remind me so much of the off white. So, let me put these up next to each other real quick. Show you guys what I mean. Look at that little tag hanging right there. Same spot. And yeah, when I seen that, I'm like, I gotta cop these. So, anyways, just wanna show you guys that real quick. Just these cool forces. I'm getting into Air Forces, guys. Like, I, I love Air Forces, so. So, the different swooshes. You guys know about that. Anyways, I had these I had these pairs. So, just wanna show you guys the new pair right here. And I wanna show you guys the new wide-angle lens. I recently got another pair. I forgot to show you guys these. I picked these up, I believe, on... Wednesday, either choose. I think they're on Wednesday, but this pair is actually going up in price like crazy. And I'm surprised I got these for for the price I did. But OG box, authentic. Uh, yeah. So let me show you guys this pair real quick. I used to hate these, and I, I now I'm starting to like these. So it's the Jordan Five P P fifty one camos. These used to be sitting at the at the malls. For like retail, like years ago, I forgot when these came out. I don't. I think like twenty. Let me see if I can see it. Um, I'll flip the camera around and do a, like a close up of the shoe. But it's the P fifty one camos. So let's flip to the close up real quick and show you guys the details on them. Are right, you guys here? They are. So they're not that bad condition. Like I got these for a good price, like fifty bucks. So. Probably in the posters for like 120, 130. They're not that bad condition. They have the OG box. The only thing about them is that the bottoms are a little bit yellow. But that should not be too bad. But probably gonna post these. These go for like 300 brand new. So honestly, 150 used is a good price. But some people don't wanna pay that. So I'm gonna charge like 120. This is the lowest. But what's cool about these shoes is that this part, the camo part, is all 3M. Like, like part of it is, so, like, the camo lights up as 3M, and same with the tongue. But, yeah, I love this wide-angle lens, by the way. It, it really helps. But, anyways, guys, like, these are not that bad conditions. A couple scuffs here and there. But I could probably get, like, 120, 130 out of these in terms of the price. So, yeah. What's really weird about this shoe, though, is some of the parts look a lot more hairy than usual, like this scuff right here but some of these parts look a lot more hairy than normal but it's okay anyways so yeah this this pair's a good good deal gotta flip these quick og box everything's authentic and yeah anyways guys that's it for now i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when i do something else um there might be a cooking video uploaded on the channel i don't know when that's when this video is gonna go up or when that video is gonna go up i'm actually filming that one tomorrow with my friends hopefully so that's gonna be fun stay tuned for that i'm not really doing anything else right now but i don't know so yeah just this one pair and we'll cut over with you guys in the next scene
Alrighty guys, so that's the end of this video. This is a film a couple weeks later. I need to upload a lot more. I'm done with school now, so I can upload more videos, and yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be trying to get more content since I got this new device, so. Also, check out my new carbon fiber case. It's pretty cool. I really like it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace, guys.